Good morning, YouTube, BookTube, the world, humanity, the Adamic race. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there's also the Adamic race, and then there is the new humanity, the, the election of grace, <laughs> the church. Anyway, enough of this rambling here. It is Sunday here in Southwest Michigan. It is January the 13th. It's a December. December the 13th, 2019. It is 10.02 in the morning. My wife just left to go to church. And after church, there's a church potluck, so since I am alone here in the Hermit Hut, I would thought I would do a video. And this video is going to be a used book haul. Now, I wasn't going to do any book hauls or not because as I have been re re saying in these uh, recent videos that I'm cutting back on buying books and and I'm not going to all the thrift stores that I used to go to in 2018 and in the past that I was just going to go to local thrift stores which is about three or four in around where we live here in Holland Michigan now there are North North Holland if I was to go further there's about nine thrift stores maybe more here in the Holland area. And if I was to go to Grand Rapids or Zeeland or Douglas or Hudsonville, there are other places that I could pick up easily used books. So I was going to cut back. Now what happened is that yesterday my wife, my wife is, was off and uh, she had nothing planned. So in the morning, she wanted to. Go, she asked when I got up. She want, we wanted to go out for breakfast. And since I've been sick and not really in the mood to eat really heavy foods, I. But then I woke up yesterday and I said, "Sure, let's go out for breakfast." Because I was tired of. You know, usually, we have oatmeal in the morning. So we went out for breakfast, and uh, after breakfast. We were driving home, it was around 9.30 in the morning, yesterday morning. And my wife says, uh, you want to go to thrift stores? <laughs> and, I, and she said, you need to get out. So, at first I said, no, nah, let's just stay home. You know, I don't, I don't really feel that 100% yet. And plus I'm cutting back from buying used books. But my wife says, no, you need to get out because I don't really like to leave the house. Uh, I like staying in the house here, watching the birds at the bird feeder, reading my books, writing in my diary. This morning I'm on page three, not, I'm on page 34 of the year 2019 in my paper diary. But my wife says, no, you need to get out. You need to move. You need to get out there in the world. So I kind of said, oh, okay, since my wife was driving and I would just go along and my wife says, well, we need to invest in our marriage. The only thing that we do is go either grocery shopping or we go to use book sales or thrift stores because I don't like to do anything. I don't like to travel. I don't like to socialize. Uh, I just like sitting in my hermit hut. Uh, reading my books, writing in my diary, listening to music, watching the birds, sitting in silence, in a state of contemplation. So, we went to thrift stores. <laughs> That's the long story. So this is a used, this is a used book haul. These are the books that I got at thrift stores yesterday. 
first one I got is The Jungle Books by Richard Kipling. I didn't have this in our library and it was only 25 cents. So, and I have biographies on Richard Kipling, short stories by Richard Kipling, Captain Courageous, I think, was written by Richard Kipling. Uh, I might have other books, but this is The Jungle Books by Richard Kipling. And then, uh, this is a series of short stories by the writer uh, Russell, Russell Banks, which I collect his writings. Uh, Oh, he's written uh, The Reserve, The Darling, The Angel on the Roof, which is a volume of short stories, Cloud Splitter, Rule of the Bone, The Sweet Hereafter, Affliction, Continental Drift, Trailer Park, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, I didn't have this. At first I thought this was like a memoir, but then when I got home, I looked at it and I, I it's a serious, it's a short story collection by Russell Banks. So I collect Russell Banks. And then I found this novel by Michael Cunningham who wrote that very famous uh, book The Hours which is on the Virginia Woolf was made into a movie won the Pulitzer Prize, but this is a novel, well, I was reading an interview with Michael Cunningham, and he, this book was just coming out, Specimen Days, and the I, reason why I got it is that, uh, like it says here, well, one of the f characters in this, is like, dystopian kind of novel is Walt Whitman, the, the great American poet, The Leaves of Grass, uh, 19th century, and since I it, I collect books on Walt Whitman, and I I got this at a thrift store, Michael Cunningham, Specimen Days. I have other novels by him in our library. And then I picked up uh, a novel by William Gibson, who writes science fiction. This was co-authored with a man named Bruce Steerlings. This is called The Difference Engine, a novel. It's, it's, called, it's called Cyberpunk. I collect William Gibson. I've not read him, but I got this for our William Gibson collection. It's called The Difference, the Difference Engine by William Gibson. Uh, cyberpunk, science fiction. And this is a book on on the life of an explorer called My Life as an Explorer by Stephen Anders Hinden. This is published by the National Geographic Society. I collect books on exploration, books on travel memoirs. I just collect that kind of stuff, so I got that. And then this is a, a book by Simon Winchester, who's written a lot of books. But I didn't have this one. This is on the history of the Atlantic Ocean called The Atlantic, Great Sea Battles, Heroic Discoveries, tight Titanic Storms, A Vast Ocean of and Millions of Stories. Yeah, I don't I didn't this is one I didn't have in that collection. He wrote like The Professor and the Madman, The Man Who Loved China, Crack in the Edge of the World. Uh yeah, you see his books are everywhere, but I didn't have this one on the Atlantic Ocean. And then I, I didn't have this Bram Stoker Dracula, which I didn't have. I'd like to get the Bram Stoker annotated Dracula. I might do that. This is a novel called, well, it's kind of historical fiction. Holy Skirts, the novel of a flamboyant woman who risked all for art. It says here in the back, no one in 1917 New York had ever, ever encountered a woman like Baroness Issa van Vrigtag Lorehoven, poet, artist, proto-punk rocker, sexual liber libertine, fashion avatar, and unrepentant troublemaker. 
when she wasn't stalking the streets of Greenwich Village wearing a bezier made from to tomato cans, she was enthusiastically declaiming her poems to sailors in beer halls or posing nude for Man Ray. In an era of brutal war, technological innovation, and cataclysmic change, the Baroness had resolved to create her own destiny, taking the center of the Dadistic, you know, Dada, Daistic circle, breaking every bond of female propriety and transforming herself into a living, breathing work of art. So I got that. This is Holy Skirts by Renee Steinick. Steinick? I can't pronounce that. Then this is a book uh, in the Oxford World's Classic Series, Literature and Science of the 19th Century, an anthology by Laura Oates. This is a novel that looked kind of interesting. I found a thrift store. This is called Byron Easy, a novel by Jude C Cook. It says in the flap here, in December 24, 1999, Byron Easy, a pro poverty stricken poet, half drunk and suicidal, sits on a train at King's Castle Station, which is in England, waiting to depart in his lap is a backpack containing his remaining worldly goods, an empty wine bottle, a few books, a handful of crumpled banknotes. As the journey commences, he conjures memories, both painful and a fork, of the recent past of his roller coaster London life, and most distressingly of Mandy, his half-Spanish Amazonian wife, in an attempt to make sense of his terrible and ordinary predicament. Sound interesting, so I got that. This is a memoir. Well, I don't know if it's a memoir. It's called. This is by Mary Gordon. I collect her. She writes novels, short stories. She's an American writer. This is her book, Seeing Through Places: Reflections on Geography and Identity. And these are two books by Clive Barker, who writes fantasy, horror fantasy. I never seen this one, Cold Heart Canyon. A Hollywood Ghost Story by Clive Barker. Uh, I read him last year, his book, uh, The Great and Secret Show. This is his other one, Imagina, Imagia, by Clive Barker. I, co I collect Clive Barker and um, just because I he kind of interests me. So these are two novels by Clive Barker. Fantasy, horror fantasy. This is a novel by the British writer William Boyd, Armadilla, which I collect William Boyd. So I got this one by him. This is a novel, I never heard of this person. It was a New York Notable Time book. Uh, this is a novel by Perlman's, Perlman's Ordeal by Brooks Hansen, a novel. It says, one evening in London in 1906, Dr. Augustus, August, Augustus Perlman, music lover, hashi devotee, devotee and pioneer of clinical suggestion, is about to leave for the symphony when Sylvia Plum, hysterical teenager girl, is brought into his office. It seems that another girl's personality is living inside her, and soon a charismatic spiritualist Madame Helena Barnett gets involved and as his young Sylvia telling him an astonishing story that resembles the myth of Atlantis. The doctor wants to suppress the story, but the spiritualist is desperate for the story to be told. And so in time, just before the reign of Freud, the doctor and the spiritualist fight a heated battle for the soul of the girl. Brooks Hansen evokes a bygone power of the imagination to transcend history and invigorate myth. So that looked kind of interesting. This is a history book, Borrowed Years, 1938 to 1941, America on the Way to War by Richard M. Kitchen. This is a memoir by Gary Shetkegaard. 
Uh, I have two other books by him. Uh, Obscure Stan and the Russian Dubatan... Davin, is it Davintant's handbook? Dubitant? Davitant? I can't pronounce the word. Anyway, this is his memoir, A Little Failure. This is a book by Tony Horowitz. I have four other books by him. This is his, he wrote Confederate in the Attic, which is about America, the, the, South, the, the South and America. He writes kind of like travel memoirs, history. This is the voyage along and, and strange. It's like a, a long overview of the history of the United States. Uh, so I got that one. I didn't have this one in my Tony Horowitz collection. And then lastly, this is a history of the Canadian Railroad, the building of the Canadian Railroad. The Last Spike, The Great Railroad, Railway, 1881 to 1885. I have his book. His name is Pierre Bertet. He wrote a book I have on the Alaskan Gold Rush, which I have in our library somewhere. I went looking for it this morning and couldn't find it. So that's the book haul. I got all these books for $15. So I wasn't going to do a book haul. My wife dragged me out, visit thrift store. She bought, you know, children's books and children's toys. And she bought some other books. But that's the book haul. So I'll take these down the lower level. I don't really plan to read any of them. I did yesterday when we were out. My wife wanted to copy stuff off at the public library, and I checked out the library, and I've been reading this yesterday and today. This is Claire Tom, Tom, Tom Lane, A Life of My Own. She's a very famous biographist. Uh, she's wrote a biography of Catherine Mansfield, Charles Dickens, Thomas Hardy. Uh, and this, she's, I have Mary Shelley, but this is her own memoir of her life, a life of my own. So I've been reading this yesterday and this morning. So that's what's going on here on a Sunday morning here in southwest Michigan. The sun is shining. It's cold out, 24 degrees. I still feel sick. I feel still coughing up all kinds of crud. No plans for the new week. Just to lay low. Tomorrow is a Monday, so I volunteer at the Book Nook again. Today I'll watch professional football, the playoffs. Did that all day yesterday. And while I was watching, I read this. <clears throat> so that's it. This is the first book haul of the year 2019. This is not going to be a norm this year. It's hopefully be a rarity showing this many books in one video. I still feel kind of sick that I gave in to my wife <laughs> that I bought all these books because I really want to cut back and just read what I have and not accumulate any more books. Of course, my wife says yesterday, we can always take books to out of your library. But I went through, you know, I took 19 boxes of books to the book nook last year and I don't know what else I could take. So... I hope you're all doing well today. Have a good new week and I'll sign off. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. Until next time, bye.